welcome to this episode of Style Woodbridge. I'm your host, Samantha Roth, here to keep you up on the latest trends. On today's show, I'll be exploring the hottest looks for prom 2016. I'm currently at Lord & Taylor in Woodbridge Center awaiting the start of their prom fashion show. Okay, our next young lady is Pia. 
Pia. Oh, look, Pia has on a short gown. Look at that, how nice that is. She's wearing a black and white short dress by Aiden Mattox. Okay, our next young lady is Pamela. Pamela is wearing a long sequence gown by Bagley Mishka. Okay, our next young lady is Lanasia. Okay, Lanasia is wearing a black dress by BCBG with see through bottom and black stone by neck. favorite trends for 2016? I really like the plunging like neckline. I think that's very flattering on a lot of people. I also like the back with the V. I think that's also very flattering. Um, I know a lot of people also like lace. I think that depends on the person and I like the bedazzled on top as well. So you got your dress already. I did. What did you go with? Okay, so like I said, I like the plunging neckline and the V-back, so I went for that. It's all jeweled on top, and it's navy at the bottom, so I think that it looks great on me. Nice. Yeah, I, I'm sure it does. And when is your prom? May 19th. Okay, well, have fun and be safe. I will. And thank you so much for of talking course. to me today. We'll be back. My next stop on the hunt for the perfect prom dress for 2016 brings me to Ultimate Fashion, still located in Woodbridge Center Mall. Let's go take a look. Hi everybody, welcome to Ultimate Fashions. We are located in the Woodbridge Center Mall upstairs across from JCPenney's and Boscov's entrances. 
We are known as one of the top 10 prom stores in this industry, and we carry every designer you can imagine, from Giovanni Fashions to Sherry Hill to Jazzy Couture to Maury Lee. You name the designer, and we have it. We have a seamstress available to make that perfect fit for you, and you look great from head to toe with your jewelry, your shoes, your handbags, and all your accessories. Our top selling line today I would like to show is actually two Giovanni dresses. This beautiful dress over here on my side over here comes in red, burgundy, white, black. It is gorgeous from size zero to size 18. It's got a beautiful cutout on the side. It's got a low back and it's got a gorgeous fantail bottom with the curly cues. This other magnificent dress on this side is also a Giovanni fashion. It's one of my top selling dresses. It comes in royal blue, burgundy and black. It is a three tier layer with beautiful glitter. We can dress you in five minutes to look like these gorgeous models. Just imagine how fantastic you're going to look in that perfect dress. Remember, ladies, Ultimate Fashions, we have it all from head to toe, and you will look amazing. Thank you again to Ultimate Fashions and our two wonderful models, Carly Delaman and Katie Forbes, for taking the time to be on my show today. You girls look absolutely gorgeous. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a great time at your prom. Thanks. Thanks. We'll be back. So you have your dress and you have your date. Now all that's left, hair and makeup. We're here at Vito Mazza Salon and Spa for those last finishing touches. I'm here now with Ann Mazza of Vito Mazza Salon and Spa. And thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today. Thank you for having me and thank you for coming. Of course. Um, tell me a little bit about the different prom services you offer here at the salon. Well, we are very happy to do formal stylings for anybody who would like to come in and get their hair all ready for prom. Um, we do a lot of makeup applications as well for prom. Uh, this year, especially braids would be a big highlighted feature. Um, a lot of our staff is excellent at doing a lot of the latest trends in finishing work. So we keep ourselves abreast of that um, with social media and we just keep ourselves ready to do all the latest styles for the girls. Whatever it is that they're looking for, we definitely have someone who can uh, do that for them. So do you have a style book or do you recommend that the girls bring in their own pictures? In this virtual world, they seem to have their own pictures. I think they've seen things. Um, Modern Salon does posts every day of some really great work and our girls are so talented that most of them can pretty much emulate anything they see on that site. So it works out great. As long as their hair can facilitate that certain style, we can do that for them. Do you recommend that they bring in their own extensions and different things like that if it is a big updo? I suppose if they need them, they can bring them. We also will be carrying some extensions um, in, in quite a few days. We'll be having those in as well. So um, we can help with that and, they, and the girls can do that. If they do choose to use extensions, they would need to book a little extra time for the uh, formal styling service. Awesome. And how far in advance would you recommend that they make their, uh, their date? I think as soon as they know their prom date, they should call us because sometimes time constraint does matter. I have a 17-year-old daughter also today who's been to prom and come to Vito Mazza multiple times to get herself ready as well as with her friends. And when you're juggling that many people in appointments, um, the girls need to get here usually by 3, 4 o'clock in order to make it to picture taking prior. By the time they do that, get their dress on and get there. Usually the services can start anytime from 12 noon and I would say to try to get out of here by 4. So we're actually going to go back now and meet your daughter, Kate, and Lena, who is one of the hairstylists here at Vito Mazza, and they're going to show us a few of the options for updos here at the salon. So here I have my lovely client, Kate. She's coming in today for a prom updo. Today's the day of her prom. Uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of braiding in here. We're also going to be doing something lower towards her nape um, so that it's just really elegant, beautiful, and just super simplistic for her to enjoy her night. So we're all curled here. Kate looks lovely with some waves. So I'm gonna begin to braid on this side. 
I'm gonna do a French braid. So now we have this section out of the way. We have this section in here already done. So that way we'll have a nice little headbanded piece to her side. So I'm gonna make a ponytail with this area. So that way it has a nice structure and hold to her hair. So when she's dancing the night away, she won't have any issues. Now this is where updos are really the best because this is my total creation of how I want to place things, how I want to wrap the hair. This is where it gets really fun. Hi, my name is Stephanie Savino, and I'm a stylist here at Vito's Maza as well as a makeup artist. And today we'll be doing Kate's prom makeup. So first thing we're going to do is prep her skin. We have the Repichage Mineral Face Shield, just like a lotion all over. Just want to massage that in. You can even put it on the lip, totally fine. So there's no real order when doing your makeup. You can do your face and your eyes and your lip, or you can do your eyes, your skin, then your lip, but today we'll do eyes, skin, and lip. So now we're gonna start with the brows. And you just do really quick strokes, and then you just brush it out with the spoolie part. So now we're gonna do shadows. We're gonna start with the champagne neutral color all over her lid, so you can close. Again, just putting everything all over the lid to make everything nice and neutral. So anytime you want to make a little bit of drama, you want to use a matte shadow. It creates a little more smokier look and it gets a better effect that way. She's so going to put it in like a V and then do circular motions to blend it. Okay, you can open, and you can see here we're building in here a nice smoky effect. And then what we're gonna do on her lid is a really nice pretty champagne gold all over the lid just to make it pop. And to really make it pop, open your eyes, Kate. You put any kind of shimmer in your inner eye, like right by that tear duct, it'll make it really pretty, it'll make your eye look wider. Think like Jennifer Lopez, really pretty. To make it have a little bit more definition, we will go ahead and line underneath with our brown shadow. You could take a Q-tip or an angle brush and you literally just smudge underneath your lash line. So we are gonna apply a fake lash to Kate today. We're using half ones here and a latex adhesive. So if you do have latex allergies, you won't be able to use this glue, just as a 411. Kate does have mascara on already, which is helpful. So what you would do is just curl your lashes, apply a coat of mascara, and then we can apply these. These are really pretty to give a little bit of umph to your eye. It's not too dramatic. So it's very age appropriate for prom season, sweet 16s, or anyone who just wants a little bit of extra length and volume. So you just take your glue and you just literally go against your lash line and you just marry the two together. Don't worry about the glue, it will dry clear. And as you can see, she has a really nice length. It looks very natural, very full, and it's only with half. 
Okay, now what we're gonna do is apply our liner. So I'm gonna take some of our chubby stick pencil and just close again, Kate, and literally just rub it against her lash line because we're not trying to be too much with her eye makeup, really soft, but still have some definition. And see, she has a lot of definition, but it's not too much. The next step is mascara. So you just take it and tap it, marry it together, and then look up for me, and you're gonna hit the bottoms. So for right now, so her eyes are all done, so now we're gonna move on towards skin. So we're gonna take our makeup sponge and take our liquid. And I like to do like little dabs and then we'll blend it in with the brush. That way you don't end up putting on more than you need. Now if you want, you could use your hands. The warmth of your hands will make the product blend really nicely. Or you can use either the stippled foundation brush, which is um, half synthetic, half animal hair. It's really good for blending and it'll buff it out, make it look airbrush, or a regular foundation brush. Or you could use a sponge, it's just a matter of preference. So in the newest trends of highlighting and contouring, the next step is gonna be highlighting. So you can use a concealer that's one to two shades lighter than what you actually are, because the effect is to make it look brighter than you had like eight to 10 hours of sleep. So don't get scared when you're like, that's really light, that's the whole point. It's supposed to be lighter. So again, we're gonna use our sponge. And you're gonna go over, so I'll show you with the brush. You almost draw an upside down triangle and get as close as you can to the lash line. Same thing on the other one. You go down the bridge of the nose, around the forehead. You're going to go along, right underneath where your cheekbones are, and right along the chin. If you wanted to make your lips look bigger, you can do a little bit right above your cupid's bow, and that's a really nice effect too. You can go too dark with your contour color, so just be mindful. But anything, or you could just use a bronzing powder, anything's fine. So you just wanna go right above the hairline. This is to create that sun-kissed look. And I always tell people to make the fish face like this. So as you see where, Kate, you could turn your head. Where you sink in is where you're gonna put the darker color or your bronzer. So you're gonna almost look like you're going to war at this point, but once you blend it, it'll be amazing. If your nose, you could st stop right now. <laughs> if your nose was slightly larger, you probably see this on like Instagram and other YouTube videos. You're gonna go darker because the shadow will create a more slimming effect to your nose. Kate doesn't have that issue. If you had a double chin, same thing, you can drop it down. That'll create, it'll get rid of that problem area. Kate doesn't, again, Kate's pretty much perfect, so she has no issues. So we'll just blend everything out. The number one rule with makeup, honestly, is just keep blending and you'll be fine. So you don't, the whole thing is just to look refreshed, to look like you have a little bit of a glow. And now we're gonna use our setting powder because you have to set the makeup that helps it stay. It's a crucial step that a lot of people forget. So you could take a loose powder, a pressed powder, translucent powder, any kind of powder, and you take your fluffy brush and you're gonna wanna set your concealer. In terms of what people are doing now for baking, baking it means you put your translucent powder underneath your eyes, over here, down the bridge of your nose and your forehead. You let it sit for like five, 10 minutes and that helps lock in that like, I slept for like 10 years and you look like amazing. You don't have to do that. That's just something a little 
extra tip for you. But you do want to make sure you always set, especially anything liquid, you set with a powder. Especially when you're going to a major event like prom, graduation, or any kind of special dances. So now we're going to go ahead and move on with our bronzer and tap out the excess. So again, you're going to make the fish face and turn your head that way. And you're just going to go in to bring up the cheekbones, accentuate them. And also, it doesn't matter for prom if you get your hair and makeup done first. We'll be able to still do it. But when your hair is done, it is a little easier. So try to always book your hair first, then your prom makeup. But if you can't, it's not a big deal. And now we're gonna go ahead with some blush. And then you're just gonna like close mouth smile. And you just wanna hit the apples of your cheeks. If you wanna do with in addition to highlighting, is when people are applying like all the shimmers. So you definitely can do that as well. Almost do like a C method because you want to hit it where the where the natural light would actually hit and you'll get that like shine. Then you can also do down the bridge of your nose. You just don't want to go too crazy because then you could look like your skin's oily and that's not what we're going for. We're looking for like fresh, glowy skin. And then you just want to go an overall shaving. So this is my favorite color from Mirabella. It's called Polish. You can literally mix anything with it and it's amazing. You can make it like nude, you can make it plum, you can make it brown, it's great. So we're just gonna line her lips. And we're gonna take our lip gloss. And then setting your makeup, especially for prom, is essential. So we use the Hydra Dew Smoothing Toner Spray from Repishage. You're gonna stand behind. And just a few sprays, and that'll just keep everything matte keep everything nice and clean and fresh. Now we'll show Kate. Make sure Kate's happy. Thank you. <laughs> so she's all set. Well, Kate, thank you so much for being here. You look absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Of course, have a very safe and fun prom. Thank so thank you for watching today's episode of Style Woodbridge. I hope you've learned a thing or two about this year's hottest trends for prom 2016. Thanks for watching.